Heather from Hand Booktubes and today is the Booktube gratitude tag. This was created by Mare from Mare Reads and Naima from Naima Reads did a video of this and she shouted me out and I already had a Booktuber shout out video scheduled and I thought, oh, I'll switch and do that tag. So that's what I'm doing today. I did pick multiple people for each prompt like Naima did because I thought that was a great spin on it. And I just want to give a little disclaimer there are a ton more that I love. You're not all on the list and I'm really sorry. And I will be doing another one, which I will probably focus a little bit more on very small channels. But this one was just who I thought fit the prompts, who came to mind, who I am consistently actually clicking on and watching their videos. There are quite a few people that I actually really like them. I just don't watch a ton of their videos. And so that's not who I mentioned in this one. There's also other ones that I really enjoy, but maybe didn't fit a prompt. You get it. I love all these people. There's more that I love. I love these ones. This is who I'm talking about today. I'm really sorry if you're not on the list. I'm just the guilt. I don't know. <laughs> Number one, which booktuber has the best aesthetic? So first off, I'm going to pick Spencer from Intentionally Bookish. I literally started watching her because she would film videos outside and there was all the plants and there was the birds chirping and the bugs buzzing and it was so atmospheric and so pretty and just relaxing that I wanted to watch it even if I wasn't interested in the book she was talking about because she was talking about like cozy mysteries and stuff I'm um, pretty much strictly romance and she sucked me in but it turns out she does read romance also and also her instagram love the aesthetic of her instagram she just i really love what she does and i really enjoy her as a person and as a booktuber and you should really follow her if you like mysteries cozy mysteries thrillers romances any of those things Next day, Brie from In Love and Words. She has like fairy lights and like pink and glitzy and glam and like all, her makeup is like coordinated to her outfit. She just has a really pretty aesthetic. I have gotten quite a few book recommendations from her. I have read a lot of the same books as she has and she definitely likes more emotional reads than I do, but still her aesthetic is on point. Lastly, for this one, I have Melissa from She is an Open Book. Her aesthetic is like not even really a thing. <laughs> she just is sitting on the floor in front of her bed. But like her bedroom is so pretty and her hair and her makeup are always so pretty. And she's like always wearing like black. I don't know. I just I like I like her look. I do. And then I also really liked the delivery of her videos. I started watching her like last year and I got so many recommendations from her and I really can blame my fall down the rabbit hole of reverse harems onto Melissa and she gives great recommendations. She has lovely aesthetic, like I said, even though she's just sitting in front of her bed. I don't know what it is. I just love it. I like watching her. I do and I really enjoy her. Next I have which booktuber is the best at editing? nobody i don't freaking know i can't think of anybody that i watch that like does like special effects or anything so <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry if this is like a backhanded compliment but i just picked people i wanted to talk about for this one because <laughs> so i was like who even invents that i don't know i'm sorry guys if you really Pride yourself on your editing, maybe tell me, or maybe I already had you for another prompt. <laughs> Firstly, I have Jen from The Book Refuge. She makes ridiculously long videos, and yet we still watch them, so props to her. She reads a lot of dark romance, a lot of historical romance, and she is just a sweetheart. She is a very nice person. I really enjoy her. I didn't think she was older than me. She's not. I'm older. I feel like she slightly backhanded me in her last video where she's like, some of my older friends have a husband and kids and they just read from the library and on Kindle Unlimited. And I was like, all right, so you are literally talking about me right now. Me, right now. That is exactly what I do. That is, that is my entire description. So thanks for that. <laughs> but no, she's like super sweet and I like her. I like her a lot. Next I have Shay from, what the heck is your channel? Shay Geeks Out. 
she geeks out and she reads a ton of manga and has honestly trying to convert the entire romance community and has been pretty successful at it if we're being real and she reads a bunch of romance and the ones that we have both read we have agreed on and she's very sweet and fun and I enjoy her. Next I have Steph from Steph's Romance Book Talk. I think it's right. He is like the nicest person who is also not afraid to be like uh that's crap and I just I like her. I do. She makes awesome Instagram reels like every single day of a recap of her day almost like a miniature vlog and she reads a ton and she is very helpful and generous with her advice and her experience and is kind and I really love her. Next I have which booktuber do you love watching for their personality? For this I have Mina Reads. I love her. I like fell in love with her on a live where she was just talking and I just I really enjoy her. She does talk about romance. I have gotten some amazing romance recommendations from her. Some books that I've really fallen in love with. She does read a lot of fantasy also and thrillers and things like that. So she's not straight up romance but she's funny and I enjoy her. I also have Sarah from The Bookish Nither. I really don't overlap a ton with her on reading taste I don't think. But her personality is just so fun. She has the best freaking laugh and she's so cute and funny and sweet and I really watch her videos for her because we I don't read a ton of the books that she talks about but I like her. Next, who has super original content? I'm going to go with Lisa from Remarkably Lisa. She actually jokes about how like her titles of her videos aren't searchable because they're just so random. They're not something that people are searching. And I really enjoy her videos and she's funny too. And we do have a lot of similar reading tastes, the ones that we both read. Uh, I think we mostly agreed on. And she's not making a ton of videos that everybody else is making. Next I have The Locked Booktician. I don't even know her first name. I feel really bad now. But her um, content is super original and she doesn't really, re she reads like a tiny bit of romance. But she's so funny and she like makes tags, she makes TikToks, she makes all sorts of things that she comes up with or that she does a spin on of some of somebody else the way she talks about books, she makes it interesting, even if I have no interest in reading the book. So I like her. And I have Izzy from Happy For Now. <laughs> she reads like so much wild and weird romance and a lot of her videos are just like so specific. It's like romances with pegging, romances with I don't even know what, I don't even know. It's just, she does a lot of things that I wouldn't think of to do and we do have a lot of similar tastes and I like her. Next, who has the best reading blogs? For this I'm going to go with Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life. She includes a lot of stuff in her reading blogs and does a great job with it and I enjoy when you get vlogs that are talking about the book and have life content in it too and she does a good balance of that. Also for the same reason I have Desiree from Genki Reader. I was watching her vlogs for the paranormal Romance Readathon, which Crystal did as well, vlogs for. And she had like a bunch of Christmas shopping in there as well. And I enjoyed it. It was the balance that I was looking for. Next, who's the funniest booktuber that you watch? I'm going to go with Charles from Books on Stereo. He is hilarious. And honestly, his videos are pretty scripted. So he usually has one or two funny things in his very short videos. However, he like drags people so hard. That's how I found his channel was he was dragging people in the comments of their lives. And it was obvious that like they knew him and were interacting with him. And he was so funny that I clicked on his channel and checked him out. And I just, I love him. He's, he's hilarious. You can drag him, he'll drag you. It's great. I really enjoy interacting with him. Next I have Jocelyn from Jocelyn Reads. She reads a lot of fancy and romance, but she is freaking hilarious. I usually physically laugh when I'm watching one of her videos and that's why I watch them. Next, I have who's the best reviewer. I'm going to go with Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers. I've actually picked up and read a bunch of books that she's talked about and love them and that's hard to do honestly to just get me to actually pick up the book and she does and she really gives me a good idea of if I'll enjoy it or not and I appreciate that. The other one I'm going to go with is Elle from Elliot Brooks. She has like 70,000 subscribers, so she's hugely 
hugely more well known than everybody else on this list. And she doesn't read romance. She reads fantasy, basically. And I enjoy her as a person and her personality, the way she describes books and talks about them, talks about bookish issues. I enjoy her so much that I rarely miss one of her videos. And we don't read the same thing at all. She's like the only basically 100% fantasy booktuber that I really consistently watch. And that's just because I thoroughly love her as a person. I love her take. I love her style and delivery. I just enjoy her so much. Number eight. This is the last two. A similar taste to you. For this, I'm going to go with Naima from Naima Reads. We basically agree on every book that we both read. There's not very many that we disagree on. And if we do disagree, it's not by much. And we can easily see each other's point of view. Like some of it would be, it was one of the first ones she read or one of the first ones I read. And our opinion might be changed if we read it now. And we just have really similar tastes. And we like a lot of the same weird, crazy things. And I love her. She found my channel when we were both under like 200 subscribers. And we've kind of come up together a little bit the last few months. And she's 19. She's in college. She's still making videos. And um, I just, I really enjoy her. Then I have Avery from Avery Reads. I think that's her channel name. <laughs> I really should have wrote this down, but I didn't. We have a lot of similar tastes. She's well known in the romance community, but she makes great videos and we both love Radiance and Ice Plant Barbarians. I don't remember what all, but there's a bunch of books that we have very similar tastes on and I enjoy hearing her opinion on books. And lastly, I have Tamika from Library of Tomes and we, uh, we like a lot of the same stuff. <laughs> We do, and I really enjoy her. I trust her book recommendations, AKA I think that I will like what she says she likes, and she really gives a reason why she likes it or why you wouldn't like it, and so it's easy to tell if that book would be for you or not, and I just love her. I do. She's a great person who makes fun videos, who I love interacting with, and I really enjoy. These have been some of my favorite booktubers, pretty much specifically romance specific, but still. Um, and again, I have more I want to shout out. I do. And, but these ones are all awesome. If you weren't already aware of them, definitely check out their channels, but I didn't want to be just like, okay, no, I'm not going to talk about you because you have too many subscribers and too many people know about you. I wanted to talk about the ones that genuinely came to mind for these prompts and that I wanted to talk about. And I really hope my electricity doesn't go out. Did you see that flicker? The storm. All right, I better cut it before the light goes out. Thanks so much for watching, bye.